those are all his tactics because uh, truthfully he has no idea what to expect in this fight. I haven't fought in, uh, in almost a year and uh, a lot can change in a year's time. I'm, uh, I'm very young in my, in my career and uh, the last time I fought I, I knew a lot less about my style as a fighter. And uh, Rashad Evans knows even less about my style as a fighter. So, uh, you know, trying to give himself an idea of what to expect was uh, it's probably what he's trying to do. He truthfully has no idea what to expect out of me. He doesn't know if I'm going to stand with him. He doesn't know if I'm going to wrestle him. He doesn't know. Well, how concerned are you then about being away for so long, about getting in there and finding that rhythm and finding, being able to implement your game plan? How concerned are you about that? Right. I, I've got this question about bring rust, and uh, I think it applies to the guys that, you know, uh, want to take it uh, uh, some time off. And I was at the gym the entire time. I, I was in the gym training for this fight, got injured, and uh, I found out the rehab is actually more time in the gym. Um, so I spent even more time in the gym uh, doing my rehab. And uh, you know, when you can't fully fight train, you end up doing a lot of just what you can. What can you do? Can you jab? Can you jab? I, well, then I got really good at just jabs, just throwing my, my cross. You know, just good at small fundamentals and uh, refining a lot of things in my, in my game that I really wish I had the time to do before. So you said before that some days you're the you know best guy in the gym and other days you're the janitor. Mm -hmm. Where are you at right now? Have you moved up from the janitor ranks? Or are you somewhere kind of in you the know, middle I, now? I like you down in the janitor's office, you know? It's, uh, it's cool. Nobody bothers you there. Uh, you know, I, I think that's I think that's still true. Um, I mean, I, I think probably there's always someone I can beat. But when I have a, a horrible performance in the gym, it makes me feel like nothing. And I think that attitude is what keeps me hungry. It's not about what I, you know, if I won the lucky round or lost the round in training. It's about did I execute what I was supposed to execute in, in training? Was I uh, was I working on what I needed to work on? And uh, you know that that's still a day-to-day -day struggle. Sometimes I sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. And uh, I think that's what keeps me keeps me hungry. Keeps me wanting to be uh, wanting to be the best. Most fans have speculated that you can do jujitsu with Rashad, that you're both uh, almost even in wrestling. But some have speculated that he might outstrike you. How are you going to be ready? Well, uh, thank you. <laughs> Still half of the battle will be getting shot down, but you have a very dominant top game. Do you think that's going to play in? Do you think you're able to maybe even finish the fight by a submission because of your dominant top game? Um, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a strong likelihood that I will involve the top of uh, Rashad Evans in this fight. And, uh, yeah, I'll definitely be looking for him. I'll definitely be uh, looking for my position there. So, uh, Are you going to make a new one up against this time? Um, you know, I had something in mind, brand new, but uh, the, obviously I don't want to spoil it. Okay. You know, obviously, I, I'll have to keep you guys on your toes. So, um, yeah, uh, you might see a new, a brand new move. It's about time, guys. It's about time I give you guys something new. All right, last one. Speaking of something new, next week, interim title shot, Diaz, Condit, what do you think? Say it again? The interim title shot between uh, Diaz and uh, Condit next week, what do you like? Who do I like? Oh, man. Uh, I actually like both of those guys. They're just, it's really, I like them. Um, I know I'm going to cheer for the champion just because uh, that's the kind of guy I am, you know? But, um, man, with an interim belt, two challenges coming in, willing to scrap it out. Um, they're both hungry. And, uh, you know, I, both, I work with both of those guys before. It, it, it should be a, a, a classic, classic fight. Mark that one down. Uh, what is it, UFC 143? Is that what we're up to? Yeah. Um, yeah, put that one on. Uh, that one's going to be gold star for, for the rest of this year. All right, you guys, we're going to take Phil over here for Thank Brent. You.